Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Brugly, the Backrooms Boy, and in this video, I'm gonna be talking to you about Backrooms Level 45, also known as Abyss Inc. This one is a classic Backrooms level with a really weird substance that's currently destroying it. If that sounds interesting, well then I think you're gonna enjoy it. Let's get right into it, shall we? Level 45 of the Backrooms is a pretty safe level, and it's classified as a Class 1 difficulty, and is safe and secure for the most part, even though no Backrooms levels are truly safe, let's be real. So this level is a huge city with skyscrapers and other giant buildings, but instead of the ground being made out of, you know, normal city stuff like concrete and roads, this city is floating in a void made out of some kind of ink. The the buildings in this ink look exactly like buildings from real life. To be specific, there are 33 buildings in total, and they're all formed in a circular pattern, and at the very middle of that circle, there's a building that looks just like the Empire State Building from real life. The buildings closer to the Empire State have less entities and more electricity, but the further you go out from that center, the more entity infested the buildings get, and the less the electricity goes. And these entities specifically are Death Moth. However, the Curabitter bird keeps the death moth population in check, but it's still pretty much an infestation when you get really far away from the center. Each of the floating skyscrapers has its own gravity inside and slightly around itself. The void around the buildings that everything's floating in, that inky stuff, doesn't have any gravity for items and objects because it does have it for people. And if a person tries to jump into that void and float, well, they won't float and they'll fall into the dark abyss below forever and no one knows what happens to them when that happens so don't do that now the inside of each of these buildings seems to be the exact same as its real life counterpart they even have some of the same furniture decorations and all that stuff too it literally looks the same but the creepy thing that sets these buildings apart from the real life one is that everything inside are really detailed styrofoam sculptures yes you heard that right everything is carved out of styrofoam and it's not real like in real life it's just styrofoam that's creepy now since you can't jump out of the doors or the roof to float to different buildings you'll have to find the fire escape of each building that you go to to be able to be sent to the next building i kind of like this method a lot more than jumping into a void and falling to the end of time so cool as far as bases go there is one base here called the backrooms research consortium which is a backrooms remodeling company outpost and they stay in the center empire state building and they do research on the levels and its weird inky properties. To enter this level, you have to use the hub, and to exit, you have to go through the Empire State's building's fire escape to be sent back to the hub. But each of these buildings is connected, like I said, through those fire escapes. And it'll be hard to get to them because of the death moths that are flying around, since, you know, they're giant man-eating moths. You probably don't want to interact with them. So yeah, that was Backrooms Level 45. Hope you enjoyed it. It's a really simple, short one. There wasn't much information on it, but I got all I could into the video. Thank you all for watching and supporting me. I genuinely appreciate it. Make sure to check below for any links you might want, like Twitter, Discord, Second Channel, or the new channel I just launched called Spoogly, where I'm doing SCP readings, cryptid encounters, and missing people's cases in national parks. Just really creepy, cryptic, alien, mythos, that kind of stuff. It's going to be on Spoogly. If you're into long-form content about that kind of stuff with just simple Simple editing, then I think you're really gonna enjoy it. Go check it out. I'm uploading the first video at 1k subs over there. Thank you for everything. I got so much planned for the rest of the year. I think you're really gonna like it. And with all that said, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.